fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high old silver, the Lone Ranger. With his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the daring and resourceful masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Let's go, big fellow. I'm Silver. Hooray! <laughs> A storm of hurricane proportions swept across the Gulf of Mexico and caught an old three-master schooner on the way to Galveston. The crew, fighting wind and waves, had suffered casualties. One of the men had gone overboard. Another had been injured on the slippery deck. A third, named Sully, had fallen from a cross stay. Sully was badly injured, seriously injured. He moaned in pain as he was carried to his bunk below decks. It was Johnny Thompson who carried him below and remained at his side. Thank you, Johnny. But I'm done for. Fair done for. Don't say that, Sully. Tain't no use. Oh, now you're going to be... Wait, Johnny. There's something... Yes? You and a friend of me. Oh. Listen, Johnny. I've got to tell you before I'm through. Message to your folks? My folks are all gone. It's about a mine. A gold mine my brother Jake located. Yes. That, that's why I signed up for the voyage, Johnny. I planned to jump ship at Galveston, get to the mine and, and work it. Golly. Johnny, here. My pocket... A map. Take it. This? It, it's a map. It tells just how to find the gold mine. Jake said you'd never find it without the map. Take it, Johnny. It's yours. But, Sully, I... Don't argue, Johnny. That paper... It'll tell you what I can, where to go and all. There's a town, just a small place. Jake said a friend of his lived there. Friend? A, a prospector. Hanson's a name. He'll guide you. 
You find him. Jake. Jake wanted Hanson to have a share of the mine. You. You remember? Won't you? You've got my word. The name of the town is. Osage. Osage Hanson. Yes, I've got it. It's good to know that you're going to get what I get. Look out. What? Behind you. Limehouse. So you're snooping again. Watch it, too, yeah. A knife. Why, you... No! My arm. Drop that knife. Let go my arm. You're breaking it. Drop it, Limehouse. Drop it or I'll twist your arm off. Sure, sure, Governor. Coming at me with a knife, huh? Trying to sneak up on my back. Now, get out of here. Get out before I drag you to the skipper. Sure, Governor, sure. I never meant no harm. Sully. Sully. Sully, can't you hear me? Sully. Dead. The old three master reached port with her dead and injured. And Johnny went ashore. It was several weeks later when a paint horse, saddled but riderless, raced across open country and broke into a woods. The horse's name was Scout, and the masked man who rose to meet it was the Lone Ranger. Scout, where's Toto? What's happened to Toto? The masked man knew that something must have happened to his Indian companion. He lost no time in mounting his own great stallion, the mighty horse Silver. Lead the way, Scout. We'll follow. We'll follow. Tonto had been captured. He stood tied to a tree in the bottom of an arroyo facing a burly man who was known as Baldy. All right, Injun, talk. What was you doing sneaking around my camp? Me not talk. I've seen you before someplace. Maybe some place. I, I got it. I seen you with a mask, hombre. Who is he? Me not talk. Uh, my pal's coming. And when he gets here, we'll find ways to make you talk. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hi there, Baldy. Who's that with you, Pete? Hey, boy. Well, I'll get to him later. Where'd the redskin come from? Why are you holding a gun on him? I caught him snooping around camp. I'm trying to get him to start talking. Yeah, who's that? He says he's called Limehouse. Now get off the horse, Limehouse. Horses ain't for such as me, Governor. Go oh, blimey, they ain't. Holy, he's the critter I was telling you about. He was asking questions about you in the cafe. Yeah? I'm like out of Liverpool, Governor, and I was looking for one as would like to make yourself a piece of change. Go on, Limehouse. Tell Baldy what you told me. What I need is a couple of coves to sort of show me the ropes. And Governor... You can take the word of Limehouse, it'll be worth your while. You better listen to him, Bully. All right. Keep an eye on the redskin. Go on, Limehouse, talk. Well, I'll tell you, matey. A fella named Jake Ross found a gold mine. You've heard about Jake Ross, haven't you, Bully? He was a critter that kept bringing all that gold into town. Nobody could ever find out where it came from. Yeah, I remember. Go on, Limehouse. Uh, heard of him, eh? Hey? Then maybe you'll help, eh? Just say the word. Say you'll go half and half and I'll tell you what I knows. You savvy where that mine's at? I don't, Governor, but I can show you the cove as does. Well, is it a go? It is. Shake, matey. Yeah, sure. Now, who's this fellow knows about the mine and where's he at? His name's Johnny Thompson. He was on the Betsy Ann along with me. And right now, Governor, he's laying a course for a place called Osage. How would he know anything about Jake's mine? He knows, don't you fear? He knows because he's got a map to the place. And, mighty, that map was given by Jake's brother. Well, I'll you be... hear that, Bawley? A map drawn up by Jake himself, I bet you. That means the gold's as good as ours. Where's this fellow at now, this Thompson hombre? Told you he was heading for Osage, didn't I? What's he going to Osage for? Why, to look for... Oh, God blimey. Wait, huh? Fast. Oh, let's... What the... Well, Bawley... I've been trailing you for quite a while. Why, you... You too, Pete. Yeah? Well, I'll show you. Now then. <coughs> Lord, love me. I've dropped those guns back in their holsters. You'll never complete that draw. Sure, stranger, sure. Just don't shoot. Hold still, Toto. I'll cut their rope. Mm, that good. 
there. Now, look here, stranger. I, I caught the engine spying on me. How do I lift the horses up above? Bring them to the top of the arroyo. Ah, me go get them. What do you want now? Sheriff told you to get out of the county, Baldy. I'm to see that you follow those orders. How's it happen you're working for the sheriff and wearing a mask? Get out of this county and take your limehouse friend with you. If you try any claim jumping, you'll give the law all that's needed to put you where you belong. Here now, ain't you going into bit high and mighty? You heard what I said. I'll just take your gun so you won't try a shot in the back. Yours too, Pete. Toss them over there. Think you're pretty big. Let's see what you're wearing, Limehouse. Oh, here now. Oh, a knife, huh? You can dig it out of that thicket. About three days traveling to the county line, Baldy. Your smart will make it less. You won't have things your own way the next time we meet. We'll see about that the next time we meet. Well, I've all... Now, who asked him to come butting in? Baldy, he heard what we said. What are we going to do? Limehouse, you're going to have to do some more riding. We're breaking camp, clearing out, and covering our trail. The Lone Ranger and Tonto set out as soon as possible for the town of Osage, reaching there the following afternoon. They found that Johnny Thompson had registered at the Osage Hotel, so they waited at a convenient place until they saw the young fellow with new clothing and the unmistakable gait of a seaman. As Johnny came out of the hotel, the masked man stepped up. I want you. Hey, now, hold on. I... Take it easy, Johnny. Step around to the side with me. You know me. Oh, now, look, I've got no money. Now, don't misunderstand me because of this mask. You know a man called Limehouse? What? What'd you find out about him? Where is he? How'd you come to know him? He's in this part of the country, and he wants a map you have in your possession. I suspected he'd follow me. He's been joined by a couple of other crooks here. But, but what's it to you? Well, for some time, the law's been trying to get a case against Baldy and Pete, but without success, they're too smart. They've been warned to leave the county, but I don't think they will. Why are you telling me this? Do you carry the map with you? That's none of your business. Johnny, I don't want your map or your gold mine. But I don't want Baldy, Pete, and Limehouse to get it. What about it? I have a fair idea where Jake Ross used to go get his gold. You want Toto and me to take you to that vicinity? I'll find a man to take me there. And he won't be a masked man either. Do you mind telling me his name? <laughs> his name is Hanson. Then you're all right. He used to be trusted, but... Uh, don't trust anyone else. Say, you're a curious sort. If it wasn't for that man. We'll it... probably meet again, Johnny. Yeah, I... Gosh, you know, I hope so. I'd like to know you better. You've got a way of talking. Thanks. How'd you know about me? Tonto and I were on hand when Limehouse and Bowley became partners. I see. Do you know where to find Henson? I understand he has a little house at the end of town. That's right. Well, you better get going. Yeah, I'd better get going. Uh, say, mister. Yes? Yeah? Thanks. Thanks a lot for the warning. You're welcome. Mm, now what we do, Kimasabi? We keep watch on young fella? I wanted to warn him, Tonto. Now he'll at least be on guard. If he sees anything of Limehouse, he'll know he's got to be careful. Uh, we go back now, make sure crook leave county? No, Tonto. We're going to watch for those crooks by keeping an eye on Johnny. If Baldy makes an attempt to steal that gold mine... He'll use the best of his tricks. We'll have to be ready for him. We camp near town? Yes, Tonto. Steady, big fella. Easy. Steady, man. Come on, Silver. Get him up, scout. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. After leaving the Lone Ranger and Tonto, Johnny Thompson went to the home of Mr. Hanson and made himself known. After the two had become acquainted, he showed the old man his map. Hanson looked at it carefully for several minutes, then nodded slowly. Yeah. Yeah, this here map will do it, Johnny. I could take you to the general neighborhood of the gold mine, but I couldn't come no closer without this map. With this, we can do it. Gosh, I... oh, I'm sure glad to hear you say that. Yeah. Now about this mass fella that said you could trust me. Yeah? Did he have a white horse, pure white? Yes, he did. Oh, and the finest looking horse I ever saw. <laughs> well... What are you laughing at? Uh, was there an engine with him? Yes. <laughs> that do beat all. You suspected him of being a crook? Thunderation. <laughs> I don't understand. Thinking the Lone Ranger is a crook. Shucks on that gents, the one hombre in these parts, a crook steer clear of. And you wouldn't trust him. <laughs> That's good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, come in, Linda. Come in, honey. I want Johnny Thompson to meet you. Gosh. Linda's my niece, daughter of my brother in the East. Linda, this is Johnny Thompson. Him and me are going to be partners in the gold mine. How do you do, Mr. Thompson? Golly, I, I'm sure glad to meet you, Miss Linda. I didn't know there was anything <laughs> like... I mean, I didn't know Mr. Hanson... Uh, didn't know we had that kind of scenery around Osage, eh, Johnny? <laughs> Uncle Clem, please. Well, we didn't until a week ago when Linda come here to stay. Now, Linda, do you think you could keep house a few days while me and Johnny stake ourselves a gold mine? Of course. Ah, fine and dandy. Johnny, you shove over to that hotel and get your duds and get yourself back here. Stay here tonight and we'll shove off first thing in the morning so we can get back here before dark. When the Lone Ranger suspected that Baldy would play a trump card, he was right. He thought he could forestall anything the schemer and his partners might do by keeping Johnny Thompson in view as he rode into the hills. He didn't know that old Clem Hansen's niece had come to Osage, or that Baldy and Pete and Limehouse stopped at the Hansen house soon after Clem and Johnny left. You're not going to forget the instructions we gave you, are you, Limehouse? Have no fear of that, Baldy. Count on me. Yes? Uh, howdy, miss. I reckon you're Clem Hanson's niece. What about it? Who are you? God blimey. Ain't she a looker? Huh. Give you a fright, did I, miss? You're, you're lying. Bring her Get out of here, I tell you. Get out. We aim to do that in just about two minutes, Miss Linda. But when we go... You go with us. No, oh, no. Stop your struggling and listen to me. You're going with us. Or do we have to put lead into your uncle and Johnny? Unaware that Linda had been captured, Clem and Johnny pushed on into the mountains. High above the two, but paralleling their course, rode the Lone Ranger and Tonto. From time to time, they lost track of Johnny and Hanson when the trail led through a narrow pass. But they were never out of sight for long. I can see why it'd be simple for old Jake to shake anyone who followed him, Tonto. Ah, that's right. They passed a dozen places where those two could do the same if they suspected they were being followed. And we not see sign of crook. No, not yet, Tonto. They may be somewhere nearby watching those two just as we are. I... Do you see Johnny and Hanson now? No, me not see him. They should come into view just beyond that big boulder. Uh, maybe better we rein up, make sure. Right. Also, oh, 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 oh. Maybe we should have kept a little closer to them. If they do run into trouble, it'll take us quite a while to reach them. That's right. Huh? There they are, reining up. They must have reached the place. And get off horses. Hanson's taking a pick from behind his saddle. Look, there other fellow came, Asabi. Where did he come from? Slimehouse. Ah, and where are the two crook? We're not going to wait to find out. Monsilver, get him up, scout! Ah, 
The Lone Ranger raced ahead with Tonto following close. It was rugged country and there was no trail. The nimble-footed silver dodged treacherous holes and small stones, weaving in and out among the massive boulders, with the masked man in the saddle constantly alert to help the mighty stallion keep his balance. Though he traveled as fast as he dared, even faster than was safe, the Lone Ranger was over a quarter of an hour reaching Hanson, Johnny, Limehouse, and a big surprise. Oh, Silver, oh, easy, sit it Good. Great day, Johnny, look who's here. The masked man. You, go blimey. Yes, Limehouse, and you were warned. Warned as to what, I might ask? Where are your partners? Them ruddy thieves. I'll have no doings with them. I won't, so help me. Where are they? I should know. For all of me, they're fair out of the county, as you should know. I haven't told them to get. Hanson, you remember me? You're doggone right I do. I was telling Johnny about you. What's uh, Limehouse doing here? Well, you better ask Johnny about that. It's all right. It's climbing me rights, I am. I'm here to take what's me out. That's right. He's the one who stakes a claim here. And I've done it. You've staked a claim? I have, as you can see. All you got to do now is register your claim. And I'm fair to doing it. Oh, Scott, oh, fella. Oh, fella. Oh. oh, I see the savage one is with you. What are you up to, Limehouse? I'll take no more insulting remarks. I'm on my way. What matter, Kim Hubby? I don't know, Toto. There's nothing to it. Johnny was wrong, that's all. The claim belongs to Limehouse. Get up. Hanson, I want the truth. We just told you the true facts, mister. There's nothing else to say. Why did both of you turn this claim over to Limehouse? Because it's his, that's all. I don't believe that, Johnny. And I don't believe Baldy and Pete would leave the county just because I told them to. Stop looking at the ground, Hanson. Look at me. Uh, let's get back home. Come on, Johnny. Yeah, might as well. Well, if you won't tell me the truth, I'll have to see what I can learn without your help. No, no, please. Just leave things as they are. Why? I, uh, uh, well, me and Johnny don't want We any... don't want trouble with Limehouse, that's all. Why? Well, the claim, the claim is his. Why? And... Doggone, stop asking why. Hello. Limehouse is riding along the regular trail to town, but that's not the trail he followed getting here. I think he kept these men in sight the same as we did. Well, that trail? Go over that way? Yes. We're going to follow that back trail and see where he came from. No, no, please, please don't. You can't do that. Who's going to stop us? I am, by golly. <laughs> Put that gun down, Hanson. You never shot anyone in the back. And you're not going to do it now. Very easy, so Come on, fellow. Come on, fellow. Uh -huh. Get him up, scum. <laughs> Following the trail called for the combined skill of the Lone Ranger and Tonto, but they pushed on through the afternoon. Meanwhile, Linda was held prisoner. Her hands were tied, and she sat on the ground against a rock with Pete on guard. No use crying, Miss Linda. No one's going to get hurt unless they try to make trouble for us. You, you can't get away with this. You just can't. Well, we're going to. In fact, I'd bet my bottom dollar Limehouse has already staked the claim. And is riding to town to meet Bowley so as he can file it. Uncle Clem won't let you steal it from Johnny. Your uncle and Johnny will give a lot more than a gold mine to make sure you get home alive. Now, why don't you calm down? Stop your crying and be nice and sociable. I ain't bad company. You ugly toad. Me and you should get friendly. I'm going to be a third owner of a mighty rich gold claim. I could buy you lots of things. Yes, again, Pete. What the... Man! Stay where you are. I want you. Look out! Yes. I'll show you. No, you won't. Keep out of it, Toto. He's mine. Oh. Oh, that fix him. The untied girl's hands Oh, here. thank goodness you're here. I don't know where you came from, but do something. Please do something. Where's the other one? Where's Baldy? He's waiting in town to meet Limehouse. They captured me. Limehouse told Uncle Clem and Johnny they'd kill me if he didn't get the gold mine. So that's their play. Where did you come from? Your uncle and Johnny have surrendered their claim. If it's filed, it'll be too late to do anything. Take care of things here, Tonto, and I'll see you in town soon. Uh -huh. Come on. Come on, Silver! The Lone Ranger rode as never before, racing against time to reach town before it was too late. Silver had raced through the hills, but when he reached the level floor of the valley, the big horse fairly flew, giving all he had in response to the masked man's cry. Come on, Silver! Clem Hansen's house at the edge of town. The town itself, 
the main street, past the livery stable and the general store, the sheriff's office and the land office next door. Oh, Silver, oh, boy, steady, easy. The sheriff rushed out of his office as he recognized the masked man. Hey, what's going on? You came into town like a tornado. Sheriff, come with me to the land office. For what in Sam Hill? I don't know how you missed him unless he's disguised. Oh, Blarney, go away. I guess we're just in time, huh, Limehouse? You'd only tell me what's going on. He is disguised. How about it, Baldy? Baldy? Let's see what's behind that wig. Get back. Give it to me. Baldy. I'll kill you for this. Come on, then. Oh, 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 oh Blarney, I'll... You too. Oh. Now, both of you crooks, get your hands up or I'll start oh. shooting. And I won't shoot to bust your arm. Sheriff, I, I... It's all right now, Sam. I got things under control. But, Sheriff... These two are trying to claim something they didn't own. Clem Hansen and his partner will be here to file their claim to us. By golly, Baldy. At last I got something so I can throw you in jail. Hanno's bringing Baldy's partner. You can put him in jail with the other two, Sheriff. Johnny, how does it feel to be part owner of a rich gold mine? Oh, I can tell you better, Clem, when I see if I can do what I wanted with that gold. Is there any reason why you can't do what you want to do, Johnny? Well, what I want to do is build a great big house and buy a lot of fine things for the girl I want to marry. Well, what's to stop you? I don't know if she'll have me. Why don't you ask her? Oh, what? <laughs> With her uncle sitting right here laughing at me? Uh, uncle Clem? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm a-getting. Reckon I'll go back to the cafe and tell the boys about the Lone Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. Mm -hmm.